talking way too loud And if you don't like the sound You could just tune it out Who you rooting for? They say whatever team that'll win I say cool, cause it's gonna be whichever one I'm in Yeah, I'm good like that Yeah, I'm good like that Who you rooting for? They say whatever team that'll win I say cool, cause it's gonna be whichever one Hi guys! So we landed in LA and I don't know why the first thing I felt like doing was a little hotel room tour. I was so tired. Like, so tired. I know it's not smart to actually eat or drink any of the things they put in the mini bar because it's like $50 per crumb of food. Um, but like I opened three of these little candy things and there was Red Bull in there. Like what was I supposed to do? I thought this hotel was so cute, like the little robe and the products that they put in the bathroom and the shower were actually really good. I was pretty surprised that it was so cute. And then upstairs on the roof was my favorite part of the entire place. Look at the view. This was everything to me, everything. But now I'm gonna do a really random cut to the next clip where I'm getting ready for a brand event. Hi guys, let's get ready to go to a milk event. Let me tell you guys, I really rarely ever film myself getting ready when I'm going to something more important or when I'm in a rush like I was. Um, I woke up super early this day. I don't know what got into me, but I woke up really, really early, gave myself what I thought was enough time to film. It really wasn't because I start rushing like crazy, but I clearly did okay because you're watching this on YouTube, so I think I did a good job filming the process. For the skin, I didn't do anything crazy. I just really wanted to cover up those bumps that you can see clear as day. Um, really had to focus on my eyeliner here. Didn't do a great job, thank you. Okay, now I'm curling my lashes with my Shiseido curler using my telescopic waterproof. I love that I'm just now telling you what I'm using. I haven't been doing that this entire time, but if you're curious, I will put some of the products in my bio. This was the setup that I had while getting ready. It was so chaotic, but my view was I thought it was really cute, but now watching this back, it's literally just a parking lot. This is my outfit. I got the top with the little feathers on the sleeves from Windsor, I think, and the shoes were literally $10 from Forever 21, and I keep telling everyone about it because that is a steal, okay? And I think my outfit was very subliminally inspired by Harry Styles. I just thought he would appreciate the feathers and that color pink, okay? And this was my Uber ride to the event that was near Hollywood. Yeah. Like this is it's giving Valentine's Day. It's giving like. <laughs> and so I'm just gonna like grab it out. Tested. Your small stick. <laughs> Amazing. Right, and I've been showing everybody, and it's like such. <laughs> oh, are you dead? <laughs> We also had a photo shoot with Max Bronner, who was absolutely phenomenal. I was honestly kind of scared going into this because I'm not necessarily comfortable in front of the camera unless I'm taking my own stuff, but he made me feel so comfortable. And these were the new sculpt sticks, the new blush shades as well. I was obsessed. This is not clear footage at all, but this was me trying to show that I was using it every single day on this trip. I was obsessed. I am obsessed. And after that, I just went down to Santa Monica. I got some lunch and this was just me enjoying the day. I'm really on fire tonight. Can't nobody hold me down. I'm doing whatever now. Ain't got no time to fight. I'm talking way too loud. And if you don't like the sound, you could just tune it out. Who you rooting for? They say whatever team that'll win. I say cool, cause it's gonna be whichever one I'm in. Yeah, I'm good like that. Yeah, I'm good like that. Who you rooting for? They say whatever team that'll win. I say cool, cause it's gonna be whichever one Okay, so at this point in the vlog, it was Valentine's Day. We went to a kitty cafe. It was so cute. We went to Crumbs and Whiskers. 
and we had a very interesting lineup of events this day because we started there and we ended up at the Cecil. If you know me, you know this is nothing new. I actively seek out haunted and fucked up locations. I don't know, I'm obsessed. But after that, we did normal Valentine's Day stuff. We got dinner at Nobu. This was Alex trying raw fish for the first time. I didn't think he would like it, but he actually did. And then after that, we both tried caviar for the first time and I didn't think I would like it, but I actually did. Not bad. Not bad. Where are we going? Um. We're going to. Yeah! Hey, let's not yell, you creep. Because he's the biggest Harry Potter fan. Because we know. I want to buy a Harry Potter wand. So then I can cast this. Motherfucker. <laughs> This was us at Harry Potter World, and when I tell you if I could go here every single day, I would. Every single day. Yay! Uh, to start, but safely. Yeah, no. So. <laughs> this was us getting stuck on the Jurassic World ride. I was so excited to go on this and then it literally traumatized me. So that was really, really good. But then I was redeemed after because I went on the Harry Potter ride. I forget what it's called, but it's this one. If you have been on it, you know. Best ride ever. I don't do rides and I went on this one back to back. It was so fun. And that is all the footage that I got for this week. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.